One of my favorite things about talking new construction homes is when I get to show you uh, brand new communities that are just getting started. And today that's what I'm actually gonna do. I don't even have a model home to show you. That's how new uh, this community is. The model won't even be open for probably a couple months but one of the builders is already pre-selling. And so it is a community in a location that I love with a builder that I love. And so I think you're gonna love it too. So I wanna show you the information that I have in case you're thinking, hey, I wanna get in on the early side of this community because remember, the early side is when you're gonna get the best deal possible going into that community. So today I wanna show you Quail Hollow coming to Rockwall, Texas. So here we go. Quail Hollow is one of the newest communities that is being built on the north side of Rockwall. And one of the builders has has just started pre-selling. The other builder doesn't even have it on their site yet. So that's how new this community is. So this community is gonna be a, it's a Highland and I believe it's Windsor. I can't even, I'm not even for sure. And I've told you before how much I appreciate and love the Highland home product. So anytime that they're putting out a new community, especially when it's in my own backyard, I love to be able to talk about it and tell you about it. Like I said, I wanna take you out and show you the model. And as soon as it's built, we will definitely be out there to kind of preview the community. There's just nothing to show you yet. So I'm gonna take you to the website and show you some information there. Uh, but before I do that, if I haven't done this before, for. My name is Zach. My team and I, we sell new construction real estate here in DFW. That is what we specialize in. So if you are buying or building here in DFW or you're relocating into our market and you have questions or you need help and you need somebody to assist you with that transaction, contact information right at the bottom of the video. Reach out to us. We would love to help you make your dream a reality when it comes to a brand new home. So let's get into the website for Quail Hollow. I want to show you as much as I can, give you as much information as I can. Also kind of give you a little bit of perspective on pricing and and why things are the way that they are. Okay, so Quill Hollow is a boutique community. And so when they say boutique community, what they mean is right about 250 homes. So this is not gonna be a multi-thousand home community uh, that's being built out over the next decade. This is also not gonna have all of the amenities that you would find in those big massive communities. This is gonna have some amenities, don't get me wrong. I believe there's gonna be a park and a pool, but not, you're not getting massive tennis courts and all of those things because there's just not the space to do this. So this is right off of John King. So it's close to 30. I'm gonna show you exactly where this is on the map. When I said Highland's doing it. So that makes it one of the things I think we should take a look at. And I'll show you, and I'm actually in the way. So I'm gonna move me, here we go. Cause I want you to see prices starting. So we're doing 62, 72 and 82 foot lots. So 590s, 650s and 710s. And can I just be honest with you for a second? I promise you those prices are gonna go up. Like I've already had a conversation with their sales staff and they're gonna go up. I can't tell you when, I don't know when, but it like a lot of times what you see is when builders start opening a brand new community, they'll do what's called a pre-sell sell. Anyway, those are gonna be the cheapest prices. And usually it's the first three contracts, the first five contracts. Maybe it's the first 10. Maybe if you're lucky, they're going to hold that pricing and then they're going to go up. How much are they going to go up? I don't know, 15,000, 20,000. I have no idea, but I can tell you from experience, that's going to be what happens. So this is why I'm trying to give this to you now so that you're seeing this early on, even before there's a model on the ground. So let's go back to the site. So 62, 72 and 82 foot lots is what we're working with. Schools, this is going to put you in Rockwell ISD. So it'll be Sherry and Paul Ham Elementary, at Williams Middle School, and then Rockwell High School. So this is on the north side. Right, let's see if we can take a look at the site plan. Give you an idea, this is kind of what they're looking at for available home sites. So you can see they have right about half of these. This is the first phase, I think of probably two or three phases. I think it's Windsor, it might be Shattuck. Not sure who the other builder is yet because it's not even on their website, but this gives you an idea. So I know these right here, are, these are some 82 foot lots and there's some serious premiums in on these. But if you want the green belt on the corner with some no back neighbors, this would be a great time to get in and try to get early access to a great neighborhood in a great location. Before I go into any more floor plans, I wanna kind of show you a little bit around Rockwall and kind of give you, in case you just don't know, you're like, oh, where is that? What's going on? If you're looking them up for the school district grade, niche.com is one of my favorite websites to use when it comes to looking at school districts. N-I-C-H-E, we'll link it down below. So overall grade, Rockwall ISD is gonna pull at an A, does really well. There is a lot of growth, I will tell you, happening in the schools, so they need to you know, probably start building some more schools. They're getting ready to open in fall of 2024. They'll 
open two freshman campuses, one on the north side, one on the south side. So if you have students that are that are about to be in high school, they will get to experience that new freshman campus. And this neighborhood is just literally minutes down the road from the new what's going to be the new Rockwell High School freshman campus. So we've got that. Like I said, grades out as an added A. This is a great tool for you to use if you're thinking and you're looking. You're like, oh, where should we look at? Where should we be? Niche.com is a super helpful tool. Also, if we're looking at the map, because I told you I would show you exactly where we're talking about. Let's kind of come out here. So you've got the whole of DFW and you're like, I don't even know. I don't know where Rockwall is in relation to the rest of DFW. So, so here's DFW, you know, there's everything to the north and then you've got beautiful Lake Ray Hubbard. And then of course you've got Rockwall right here actually. And then there's Harry Myers Park. I didn't mean to click on that. So this neighborhood is going to sit right in this area, right around John King, this piece of land right around in here. So right off John King, which gives you close access back to 66, which is a major road back through. You have easy access to 30. 205 is a main thoroughfare in through Rockwall that runs north and south. You could easily get up to Highway 78 and cut across through Wiley, things like that. You have the George Bush Turnpike. So people are like, oh, Rockwall is way, way far out there. Guys, it's really not. And as somebody who lives even further past Rockwall, it's it's not too far out there. So you've got all of that. Like I said, you're going to be right around here. If you're looking for grocery stores, you have a Kroger right here. There is a Target and a Chick-fil-A right here in the main part of of Rockwall right in this area here. You've got Fresh by Brookshire's that was just opened in Fate, which is awesome. It's kind of a upscale Brookshire's. So you've got that there. Also coming right here, right along 30 is Ikea and HEB. They have both bought land. They've both started the process there. So if you know HEB, you know that we're excited about that. So that's going to be right here along 30 as well. Close access to everything. I also want to show you because sometimes it's things that are important to people is like, hey, how quickly can we get to the airport? So if we go Rockwall and let's say we want to go to Dallas Love Field. Right now, at the time of me shooting this video, it's kind of rainy and gross outside, so that's probably not helping the traffic. 44 minutes to Dallas Love Field, DFW. You could do DFW in 48 minutes. That's crazy, 44, 48 minutes. So 30 major access highway, 635 wraps back around. George Bush, this is, if you're not familiar with DFW, this is a toll road, as is a lot of all of this to the north. So you could live in Rockwall and easily work in Plano, Richardson, anywhere kind of to the north. You could easily work in Dallas and make that commute. I will tell you kind of, if you're new to the DFW area, one of the things you probably have to get used to is commuting. Like that's just kind of a normal thing for us. People are like, oh, let's go to dinner. And we drive 35 minutes like that's not an abnormal thing which is something we're kind of used to so being in Rockwall is kind of the best of both worlds like you can get everywhere you need to get to and you can work pretty much anywhere to the north and get everywhere you need to be but also still be in that little bit of a smaller town feel it's definitely growing but it's definitely gonna be smaller town feel and I think that's why you see the prices reflected when I'm about to show you on the Highland website of kind of where they're at comparative because I'm gonna show you this neighborhood and then I'm gonna show you similar floor plans in a neighborhood to the the north and I want you to see kind of how the difference shakes out in pricing. We're in the 62 foot lot plan. So these are the smallest plans that you can build. So minimum plan in this neighborhood is going to be at a base square footage of over 2,200 square feet. And we're going to start that at 593 and then work that all the way up to 633. There's 20 home plans in the 62 foot catalog. So you've got lots of options here if you want to be on the 62 foot plan. So you've got this one. This is a, an award-winning plan starting at 725. Get you the J-Swing garage. You can see you've got a lot of options study, four bedrooms, entertainment room, and then of course the spiral staircase that so many people love. So base price on that one, 725, 990. I wanna jump up and I wanna do the 82 foot plans I wanna show you. So they've got 10 home plans that can sit on these 82 foot lots and 82 feet, guys, that is a massive, massive lot. So to give you an idea, I was actually talking to a client about this particular plan the other day. So this is the 223G plan from Highland. It's a 3,700 square foot base. It's three to five baths and four to five bedrooms starting at 795. So I want you to remember, this is kind of our starting point. This is what you're getting on that starting point. So a technically two and storage, I guess you could put a car there so three car garage storage you've got two downstairs bedrooms you've got a study and an entertainment room and then on your second floor standard you have two more bedrooms a game room and what they would call a lifestyle room so this is like a secondary game room playroom type space and tons of options to make some changes on that so here's here's why i showed you this so 795 on an 82 foot lot and some people are going to look at that and be like oh my gosh it's so expensive yeah that's a lot of money for a, a lot of house I, like i said i guarantee you that pricing is going to go up as soon as they sell their first three, five, or 10 homes. But 
So 795 for a 223G plant. Here's what's interesting about that. So this is Mustang Lakes in Salina. This is a massive community. It has been built out in several phases. We're talking several thousand homes, but Highland, here's what I think is interesting. And I want to show you, they carry some similar plans in multiple neighborhoods. Shocking, I know. But I want you to see kind of how the pricing breaks down differently. So 70, we're going to go to a 74 foot lot and I'm going to do the home plans. And, you know, we were looking at a 223G right which basically adds that extra breezeway and garage here is a 223 plan in salina so almost the exact same house minus that extra garage and the starting base price 969 versus what was it 795 on a larger lot in rockwall i'm showing you this not to say oh don't buy in salina i'm just showing you this to say hey if you're like i know everybody wants to go to the north but like if you're willing to go a little bit out to the east you can get a very similar home in a very like in a similar feeling neighborhood for a whole lot less on the price. And I don't know how long it's going to stay like that, but it's I, my goal is always to give you perspective. Now, if you want to go to Mustang Lakes and we want to do this, I'm all for it. I'm just trying to, like I said, provide information where I can provide information. I guess for some people, Rockwall is a great fit. For some people, Salina is a great fit. For some people, Fort Worth is a great fit. Our goal is to be advocates for you regardless of the neighborhood, regardless of the community, regardless of the builder. But when I see things like that, I like to point them out because it's like, oh, that's like a $200,000 Delta and I'm getting a bigger lot. Uh, and I'm getting a one more garage off the on the on the jump before we make any sort of changes to that house. So it's fun to point those kinds of things out. Next thing I wanted to show you is sometimes people are like, oh, why don't we just build more houses quickly? And it's always interesting when I can find things like this because it, it just shows you how much time goes into developing these types of communities. So this, this memorandum I found is dated as September 7th, 2022. So this was started two-ish years ago, a year and a half ago. And this is the like discussion notes for the Quell Hollow zoning and plot plan. So for the master plan of the community, subdivision consisting of 250 uh, residential lots on 85 acres. So you kind of, I love scrolling through stuff like this. Maybe I'm a nerd. I don't know. But you know, there's the plot land. That's like, hey, this is what we're going to do. And then here it is, you know, cut out and drawn in those phases of like, hey, this is phase one, phase two. Here's how we're doing it. Maybe you don't care about this. I care about it. But you know, if I can find it, I like showing you these things because it's not just, hey, let's go out and start digging dirt. Like there is so many things that go into developing these neighborhoods and and yes, we're behind on homes and yes, we need more of them. And so, but what we're feeling is like the effects of what we didn't do two and three and four years ago. And it's, you know, even longer than that, really. And it's catching up to us. So when I see stuff like this, like, oh yeah, this, this project started in September of 2022. And the first families are probably not going to move into this neighborhood until probably November, December of 2024. If you're contracting within the first part of 2024, depending on when you're seeing this video, there's a good chance you're closing by the end of the year, November, December, maybe January. But it's just is neat to see how long it takes these projects to kind of come together from start to finish of first families moving into those neighborhoods. This brings us back into Quill Hollow. It says so you've got another six plans that can be built on the 72 foot side and then it was 10 in the 82 foot. So your biggest option and probably where they're going to have the most of their lot is in this 62 foot plan catalog. So I'm again, I am always going to be a fan of Highland. I love what they build and some of the spaces that they do. I'm curious to see. Let's go... One of the things that I love to look at is how big of a house you can get on in one story. Those are always things because sometimes people just don't want to do two stories. So like this plan right here, this 218 plan is a base square footage of almost 3000 square feet. So 29, 38 on the base square footage. And that's not a bad plan. I get you, you know, four bedrooms plus an entertainment room plus a study on a single story on a, on one floor and you get the third car tandem. And of course there's some things, you know, you can make changes to that plan accordingly to see that. So if you are interested in Quell Hollow or interested in any other neighborhood here in DFW, my team and I, we would love to help. Our contact information is down below. We, if we can't help if you, if you don't reach out to us, so call, text, email, whatever works best for you. We're here to help. Like I said, as soon as they have a model on the ground, you know we will be back out there to show you more of this community. So if you're waiting for that, best way to keep up to date is subscribe to the channel so that you see when that content comes forward. If you have questions about Highland or any other builder, really, we would love to help and answer those things. I can show you, you know, we'll put the, the link below to some other great communities for you to check out, not only in the Rockwell area, but just kind of around North Texas. So thanks for hanging out with us today. We'll see you in our next video. Bye for now.